the mission for Stacks is really enabling, you know, Web3 and Bitcoin, meaning that if you want to build applications, let's say you're building an NFT marketplace and now you want to enable trading uh, in BTC. Well, the next best thing is to just enable trading in XBTC, right? Because it is the same same price as the same asset. You can people can do a trustless you know swap between between the two assets. So what that enables is in that particular example, it is now you have an NFT marketplace where you can inject Bitcoin liquidity, which which potentially could be a pretty large market, right? Because if you look at, at the market for NFTs on the Ethereum side, uh, there's a ton of user activity. Like there, this is something that has product market fit. Uh, it's internet culture. A lot of people are interested in these things, and they're they're interested in trading these things. Similarly, I think you can uh, like a lot of Bitcoiners would 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 talk to me about like, hey, I'd never want to uh, sell my Bitcoin. I wish I could um, just take a loan against my Bitcoin in a decentralized way. Right. Well, here's a path. Like, uh, do a BTC to XBTC native swap take XBTC, deposit it into Arcadico and draw USDA loan, right? It's obviously it's a little, the end to end process is a little bit clunky and uh, you would need better liquidity on the USDA side. Like for example, uh, the ability to actually cash it out to actual dollars if you want to, or maybe you, you get other types of stable uh, currencies as USDC, but the basics are there, right? The fundamentals are there. So the XBTC is a critical component in enabling Bitcoin liquidity to actually enter the applications on the on the stack side, and then people to basically just use uh, uh, XBTC, which is a Bitcoin derivative, as a, a collateral, as a payment mechanism, as like uh, any any anything that that you can think of. Like it basically is available to you because remember, BTC on the main chain is literally like a one-trick pony, right? And and it is great for security. The only thing you can do with Bitcoin on the main chain is transfer it. You cannot do literally anything else. It's only a single operation you, you, you can do on Bitcoin on the main chain. When Bitcoin is in the stacks layer, it's completely programmable. Like you can basically write any computer program in Clarity language against it, and you can do so many things over there. And I think that's that's the main difference uh, between BTC on the main chain and then, then XBTC on the, on, on the stack side.